Well, here's a fish. Here's a good fish. There you go. 37 meter. 37 meter. 37 centimeter river tailor. Right, -o. let's get these beautiful tailor fillets in. G'day everyone. How good does this look? Beautiful calm water. The uh, city skyline silhouetted against the, the sunrise. Just fantastic. But I am after a few Taylor. So let's get into it, see how we go. Incredible morning. It's just gorgeous. I'm seeing a lot of uh, jellies in the water, which means I'm going to get a lot of false strikes. But uh, hopefully, I can get away from them. I'm going to head out into open water. So, hopefully, we'll leave the jellies behind and find the fish. Hopefully the wind stays like this. It'll be a glorious morning on the water. All right, that's a fish. That's not a jelly. And the classic combo. The old Silstar rod and the old Daiwa reel. Not a huge fish, little chopper. Good start to the morning though. Come here little fella. Come out, we'll let you go. Awesome. There you go, first one for the morning. Off you go, mate. Cool, good start. Yeah, it's a little bit quieter than I thought it would be this morning. I had uh, high hopes. It's nice and calm. The tide's rising. Some fishing a rising tide. I thought, yeah, it's all sort of lining up for a good morning, but it's pretty quiet so far. Oh well, keep trying. Uh, it's, it's pretty likely to be almost my last tailor run on the river for the season. Um, coming into winter, my mind will start turning to big winter squid and uh, probably a bit of freshwater fishing, a bit of trout fishing. But uh, anyway, cross your fingers, I can pick up a tailor or two today for my last tailor run for the season. All right, it's been a while. It's been a very long while, but we're hooked up. We got a fish, finally. I just hope I can get it to the boat. There 
he might have gone under my other line too. Yeah, he has. Oh well. Right on my other line there. I think we'll get this one in the net. That is a good fish. He's made a good mess, but he's a good fish. Honestly, I'm thinking it might be the only one I get today, so. I can keep him connected till I get him to the boat. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, now he's going for the mirage drive. Come on, mate. Don't do me like that. Oh, he did me. He... No, he didn't. He's still there. Desperate to get this one in the net. Good fish. Good fish. Gotcha. That's a great fish. <laughs> Worth the message, mate. Which is one heck of a mess. <laughs> Look at that, it's wrapped right around twice. <sighs> Let's sort this out and then we'll have a look at the fish. Alright, there you go. That's a great fish. Let's measure it. 36, I'm guessing. Thirty-seven. There you go, 37 metre, 37 metre, 37 centimetre river tailor. Great fish. It's worth it on these days when you, you're getting absolutely nothing. You're just having, you know, one of those days and then a fish like that turns up. Fantastic. That's made my day. <laughs> that mess hasn't, though. I've got to sort that out. All right. Well, that's the rod sorted out. And uh, while I'm sitting still, I've got the, uh, the problem that every Hobie owner will face at some stage. I've sprung a leak. Well, it seems a shame to leave such gorgeous conditions, but I'm going to head back to the ute. Troll lures on the way, of course. Hopefully pick up another fish, but uh, if I don't, next thing you'll see was... Uh, I think we'll cook that tailor up in the shed tonight. Maybe a, a pasta. Taylor marinara. How's that sound? Anyway, I'm heading for the shed. Oh, here's a fish. Here's a good fish. I'm almost back to the ute. Just got to go around the corner there, but uh, this is a good fish. I was just about to pull my lure in too, because I'm getting into the jet ski area. I didn't want to have a lure flapping around behind me with jet skis around. I'm glad I waited as long as I did. Oh yeah, another good tailor. Another good tailor.
the net before I lose him. This one will go 32, I reckon. 30, 33. Oh, only just had him. <laughs> How's that? Probably a little lucky to get that one, to be honest. Let's measure him. 33. got there 33 bang on good guess Andy it's almost like you measure things for a living look at that another great fish oh well, that's me done I'm gonna keep that that's two fish to take home and we'll cook them up tonight at the shed so see you there well good day again everyone so it's the afternoon now and uh, as you can see, I've got the pot belly over there underway. Get that nice and hot. Um, and we're going to do a kind of a marinara. Here's the ingredients. Pretty simple. Salt, oil, tin of tomatoes, a bit of tomato paste, pasta, uh, onion, chilli and garlic. So we'll make a nice little sauce. Uh, over in the beer fridge, I've got the tailor that I caught this morning and uh, I caught some squid yesterday, so I've got a just a single squid tube which I'm going to slice up and throw in as well. There it is there, in the beer fridge. Don't know if the light's working there. There we go. Yeah, nice bit of seafood there. And while I'm here, <laughs> it'd be rude not to. Anyway, let's get out there, get the water boiling, get the sauce underway, and make a nice batch of uh, marinara. Righto, well, you can't have a marinara without seafood either. So here's the seafood. Taylor fillets from this morning, and all I'm going to do with them is just cut them into bite sized pieces. And that's a squid tube of a squid that I caught yesterday. And uh, I'm just going to slice that up in bite sized pieces as well, but I'm also going to score it just to help it in the cooking process. So let's get on to that. Right, eh? those onions have had a nice little head start now, so let's get the tin of tomatoes in. Pinch a bit of this water. So, onions, garlic, tin of tomatoes. Let's get some chili. Got to get some chili and some tomato paste. Chili, don't be shy with the chili. Get it in there. Tomato paste, make it nice and thick and rich. And we'll let that sort of bubble away for a while. Let's get the pasta going. sauce is looking pretty good so I'm going to get the squid in but not the fish just yet and give the squid a bit of a head start oh you have that bit it's all right we'll give that just a little bit of a head start Maybe just a little touch more liquid. Oh, 
and a bit more liquid for me too. Right, let's get these beautiful Taylor fillets in. You got one too, don't you, Rosie? Here you go. Here we go. We get them to bubble away. Pasta's ready to drain, so let's do that. Alright, we're good to go here. Let's get it on a plate. Yep, that looks perfect. Get a big bit of fish. Right, uh, one more thing, I reckon. One more thing. Let's get some basil. There we go. Right, well, there's only one more thing to do now, and that's eat it. So, let's try a bit of fish first. Nice big piece of tail there. Oh, beautiful. There we go, there's a bit of squid. Love it. Get some pasta. I do love meal. I mean, I didn't provide all the ingredients myself, obviously, but uh, you go out and catch your food. Mm. Excuse me for eating and talking at the same time. You might grow a few herbs yourself, grow a few veggies. That's what it's all about. Great stuff. I do love this kind of tucker. Simple, cooked out the backyard. Oh, love it. Well, there's my take on a bit of an Italian classic, the marinara. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Tight lines. See you next time.